Early childhood education is really the beginning to lifelong learning. Children, human beings learn their whole life from the day you're born till the day you die. You're constantly learning. And the first five years are really those foundational years when all the things are, all of the um, systems are built to help children learn to learn how to learn for the rest of their lives. We do most of our work through play. Children are trying to understand their world uh, in these early years and try to figure out how their world works. Some of us learn best by hearing someone tell us something. Some of us learn best by reading ourselves. Some of us learn best by doing things. And so encompassing all those different ways of learning are really important for young children. Part of our work in early childhood education is not only to address the learning needs of the child, but also to help families understand how their children learn best and what ways that we can support children's learning as um, partners in that with families. At EVSC we have children um, who are served in elementary schools in pre-K and then we have the Culver Family Learning Center which uh, is all pre-K and infant toddler uh, centers. Okay. Those are yours. We work on a lot of uh, thinking so skills, problem solving skills, social skills, um, higher level thinking skills for young children. And we try to follow the lead of the child, things that they're interested in because obviously if you're interested in it, it's going to mean more to you and you're going to take, take that on to yourself. It's important to you and you're going to learn more about it. Because we do service three to five year olds, you're gonna, you have an age difference, so you have a difference in abilities when they come in the classroom. You know, a three-year-old's not able sometimes to do some of the co more complex things that a five-year-old might come in to do. But all of our classrooms, whether they're in a public, uh, an elementary school or they're in uh, the Culver Family Learning Center, um, use a, an approach to teaching young children um, that's called Reggio Emilia. It's actually named after a little town in Italy that is one of the premier um, school systems uh, in the world, really, for young children. We have really learned from their experiences and their uh, philosophy of teaching and uh, taken the very best of what they have to offer and, and made it fit into our culture and our way of, of, of educating young children. And part of that work is to approach it through a project. We want to teach children how to uh, understand math concepts and understand reading and um, you know, understand how to work collaboratively. We do it through projects such as a building project. Maybe the children decide they want to um, build a dog house because they're interested in dogs. And so they have to measure the wood and learn how to cut the wood and do those kinds of things uh, that allow them the opportunity to practice some of those skills. In early childhood, we're constantly assessing. We're constantly collecting information on children's learning. We're looking at it and talking about it as adults and trying to figure out where it fits in the, in the foundation standards and then figuring out where we need to go next with each child. EVSC has dedicated a tremendous amount of funding to early childhood because they have made it a priority because we recognize how important early childhood education is to success in later life and not just getting into kindergarten and, and being successful but graduating career and college ready. The best way to assess young children is by observing and, and recording what you see uh, rather than stopping and testing children. Uh, young children are best at sharing what they know and how they know it in a very relaxed, non-formal engagement. We are looking for children to be able to build their own skills. We're not only looking at what do they know, but what we look at is how do they find what they need to know. Good job. Moving forward, um, we're looking forward to expanding the program. We would like to serve as many children as have need in Vanderburg County. We want to continue to improve and strengthen culture and the programming that we're doing for young children. We want to make sure we're, we're assessing and then designing a, an individualized plan for each child that allows them to go as far as they can go um, and will allow them to be as successful as they can, not only again in school, but in life. Mm -hmm.